guys welcome back to my channel my name is Dresa if you're new here welcome today has been a day this morning I have been adulting and it's just been a long day my washing machine overflowed and it's on the second floor and I've just been adulting today so uh, we are off to Hobby Lobby and um, we're going to go ahead and see what they have new in the stores now that the holidays are done or whatnot. I'm going to go in there, see what they got, and then if I buy anything, then I'll obviously show you guys. But we're going to just go ahead and see what they got to stress relieve what's been going on. So if you like what you hear, please continue to watch. Okay, so we are headed into Hobby Lobby, and to my surprise, I found quite a few items that are similar to some high-end decor pieces from our house, Pottery Barn, and CB2. But first off, we are headed to the floral section. Now, I love shopping Hobby Lobby's florals because everything is so nicely organized and color coordinated. No matter what your decor style is, you're almost guaranteed to find something that accommodates your space nicely in the floral section, for sure. Now their floral is so realistic and affordable. It is beyond me how they tend to keep their quality, however, um, still at a reasonable price. They always have discounts. You do want to make sure that you check their websites for any discounts that they will have that week. Now I did come across this beautiful hydrangea bush and my favorite flower is hydrangea. So this caught my eye. And then I noticed that there were a variety of different types of white blossom stems in which are a signature for the spring season. When shopping at Hobby Lobby, a lot of it is not my style. However, there are some pieces that you can find and um, take full advantage of their affordable pricing. This black picture was so nice. Like, look at the detailed cracking. Now these glass canisters I've seen everywhere. However, Hobby Lobby has a variety of sizes and the price is reasonable. These are great pantry organizers due to the variety of sizes. This bus looks like it has been through a lot um, and has been here for a while because of the dust and the damage, but I can see this in a modern home along with this black rounded tray. Now I think that bud glass vases are going to be big this year because I've been seeing it all over the place. This aisle is full of candle holders, but this one caught my eye with the natural element of the wood detail. I thought these, this was really cute. And then they have the candle aisle, which is full of colors and different sizes of candles for whatever decor type that you have. This blackish iron tapered candle holder was so nice. The stem had a square like shape and this is definitely similar to what they have at our house. This glass jar is very similar to the one at our house and for literally half the price. Now these I always see when I come here. 
I always have to debate whether I need it. I love the texture and the color, but the question is always, where can I put it? <laughs> These cute little table accents are cute for your coffee table and the best part is that you can paint it because of the natural wood. So look at these amber ribbed glass vases in both of these sizes. I think these are so cute. I thought these were so cute and so different. Now, look at this quote. I thought this quote was the truth. Quotes is not a thing in the house, but I would try to use that frame for something else. The frame is gorgeous. This black bowl with the little legs are for my modern ladies nice for bowl fillers now i love the shape of this vase it's kind of a lighter amber with the ribbed and frosted bottom super cute this section had some nice black accents with the wicker basket and ceramic vases And look at this beauty. Uh, guys, guys, look at this beauty. The shape, the size, the color tones are everything. The price is unbeatable for the ceramic vase. They have a couple of different sizes, one with handles, a bigger opening, and feet. And they also had a narrow one. Now we are at the planner section. Oh my gosh. They had a wonderful selection. I love this little one for only $16.99. And that does not even include your discount. And look at this beauty. Oh my goodness. I stinking love this one. Like they have very unique pieces. This looks like it could be a dupe, but in a grayer color from the one at CB2 have different ones with handles, different textures, glossy, glazed. This was absolutely stunning. We did have plenty of chopping boards in a number of shapes and sizes, perfect for charcuterie boards, kitchen decor. I love the variety that they had. Now I do have something similar, these concrete canisters would be perfect for utensil holders. Okay guys, I'm back. So, I did pick up some items from Hobby Lobby. Now some of the items that I picked up you probably didn't see because my camera died. But, um, I just got a quick little spot. Um, so I can show you guys. The first thing I'm going to show are some floral items. And I'm going to see about making an arrangement this spring. And I thought these were very nice to insert in an arrangement. I love the neutral tones of it. It does come in a long stem, which I most likely will cut or bend because I want these more as fillers so I'll go ahead and cut these off the main stem but I thought these were so cute these were $5.99 but I did get them half off I always try to get my stuff half off so the next one are these hydrangeas now hydrangeas are my favorite flower I had them at my wedding I just love how they look they are so elegant simple and I just love everything about them and these were a little bit more expensive $12.99 like I said I get them half off so I don't have no issues with that the next thing I thought was super cute now this you did not see in my 
in the b-roll you did not see this but i got this painting this is so cute i wanted something like this so it can go on my kitchen counter and i thought this was so nice and simplistic i love the print of it it's very muted it doesn't have too many um loud colors it will go perfect on my kitchen countertop so it is on a canvas but what i found on instagram that you can do to make it look authentic is use Mod Posh on here because it does dry clear. So it gives you the texture. It comes in a decent gold frame. I really like this. And it was $19.99, which is not a bad deal. And if you get it on sale, it's $10. Like I said, I do love their florals and and I did get these also for the fall season. So I just got some more in this pinkish tone, pinkish blush tone. Being that I already have um, some, I only picked up two more, but I'm going to put this in a cute base. One thing with Hobby Lobby's florals, they look so so realistic their stems have movement you can bend them any which way you would like i am definitely a fan of their florals that's one thing i go to hobby lobby for is their floral selection it's a one outside of the florals we have a vase and i love this vase okay this is exactly what I talk about. This is what I am looking for when now that I am adding stuff to my um, home decor collection. These are the type of items that I am looking for. And it is this pot. It is so nice. I love the color of it. I love that it has like these defects to make it look authentic. We all know that this is not authentic, but it is such a nice pot. Perfect size. I don't have anything in this size. It's not that big, but like I said, I don't have anything this size. You can put this on an open shelving, uh, your console table, on top of some books. I love this pot. And you can also go ahead and do this. Look, look. This is what I was looking. See? See how that looks so nice? And this is perfect for the summer spring. So, yeah, I definitely love this pot. This was only $34.99. And you know I got it half off because I'm not paying $34.99. But even if it was full price, it is definitely a good price for this type of pot because this type of pot on Etsy, we're not even gonna go there. This type of pot on Etsy is gonna cost you a hundred something dollars. But we got it for half off and I am very pleased with this. Now I know you saw the one in the uh, clip that had the feet on it that was cute but the shape of it was a little weird for me i don't know i think i think it was the little legs i think the little legs was kind of off but i thought the collection was cute they also had the elongated one which i did like as well but i do have something similar to that so we're not gonna do that the last two things are this face I don't even know what to say. I love it. I really, really, really love it. It's an amber glass ribbed vase and it is so nice. Like typically you'll see this vase in the clear glass, but I thought it was different in this amber copper looking um, color. It shows off the rib detail a little bit more. I really like this and it is perfect for those arrangements that you will get on Valentine's Day. Being that my house is mostly ivories and whites, I did want to add a little color to it. So. so I was thirsty, okay? And I already used 
the smaller version because this is a tall this is the taller version and then it had a shorter version let me let me just go get it i was thirsty and i'm already using it i already put some flowers in the smaller version i look at this look at this this is so oh oh flowers is falling off these are um, flowers I got from Trader Joe's. So this is the shorter version of it. And it is just so perfect for your nightstand. It's perfect for the kitchen counter. It is just so nice. Here's a close up, close up of it. And it is exactly what I was looking for. As you can see, most of the house is white. I have ivory light tones and this darker tone really pops and it definitely looks super nice so here is the height comparison so this one is a little bit taller these this one is shorter but both of them would be perfect for an arrangement so and when i saw this it was just screaming to me i had to have it i don't have anything in this size so, I want you guys to guess what I got. From the video that you've seen, I want you guys to guess. I'm going to pause the video now and just guess what I got. I am obsessed with this. My camera died. So, the last thing I wanted to show you guys was this vase that I got. This base, when I saw it, I was so in love. I love the texture of it. First off, first off, look at the size of this base. It is heavy. When I tell you heavy, it's a ceramic distress base. It's about, I would say it's about 16 inches in height. It is very heavy. I love the distressing of it. It's in this gray, this gray ceramic um, type material. It is definitely a steal. This is the price, but you know I didn't pay that. I paid 50% off. And when I tell you, let me put this down. Something like that will cost over $200 easily um, at most uh, designer stores. So finding this was definitely a great deal. This vase can be designed without any floral or it can be designed with floral. I have these branches from Hobby Lobby. This was like years ago. But just look at, look at this. And look at this. That is so nice. If you rearrange it to how you want it to flow, this is so nice and it looks so expensive. Look at that. Yeah. I'm happy with this find. So those are all the items that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And... I will see you in the next one. Bye.